Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Morris Dimba, and today I'm going to show you how to use Rhino and uh, Grasshopper as a very important link to Tekla structures when it comes to complex modeling. We are going to create or model a, a box gather using Rhino, and we will link live to Tekla structures using Grasshopper from Rhino here. Now, how do we access Rhino? Once you've opened your Rhino, we'll, we'll click on the command line here and we'll just type Grasshopper. Remember, Grasshopper, I mean, Rhino Series 6 has Grasshopper installed. If you have Rhino, uh, Rhino Series 5, you have to install Grasshopper. Now, let me just type Grasshopper here. There we are. And it will start automatically. Here we are. Now, this will be the link to Tecla structures. We'll, uh, you know, in Tecla structures, we have some commands. We have some commands that we cannot create the model that we intend to, 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 to create, like uh, a curved uh, gutter box. So we can do that in Rhino, then uh, link live to Tecla structures and... Uh, as we model in Rhino, you can also preview whatever you're doing in Rhino in Tecla structures here. Now, we'll get started right away. I'll come to file here and click new document. I'll get rid of this. So, uh, uh, on, on, the, on the menu bar here, on the, on the toolbar here, we have, first of all, you have to in install Tecla link into Grasshopper. In this case, I have it here. I have my Tecla on Grasshopper. So, it has been linked to, this is the link to Tecla structures. So wh whenever I model something here, I'll be able, I'll be, I'll, I'll be able to model it within Grasshopper, and I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be able to reflect it or uh, draw it live as I draw it here. It appears on Tecla structures. Let's get started. Now I have my profile already done in, in AutoCAD, so I want to pull it inside. Uh, rhino here now to to pull it or import it into 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 rhino here i'll come to file here and uh, come to import i saved it on my desktop now i'll scroll down it is here and uh, file supported i've not selected i'll come here and pick uh the dwg because it is in dwg format if you mouse over there you will be able to see the format now, I'll pick on the AutoCAD drawing, I'll pick on that, then scroll down and pick on my GADA done in AutoCAD. I'll go ahead and click OK, and I'll have it here. Now, I'll double click on this just to get that window or to maximize that window. So, this is my GADA box. So, I want to draw this in grasshopper and this will be done live on tecla structures so once i've done this model and and uh, and it and 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 it's taken to tecla structures i'll be able to modify it further in tecla structures at this end now i'll get started i'll come to i'll come to Parallels. I'll pick on that. Then pick so, uh, I'll pick on that. Uh, I'll, I'll select on the curve. All these other curves. Now, I want several of these. I'll just press control, uh, press con uh, press control C. Then I'll, I'll copy several of that. I'll bring that to that spot. Then uh, I want to draw a road line first so that when i extrude this uh, gutter box it will uh, extrude along the road line so that i'll just place just next to it here i'll come to to that curve and snap right there and define my road line my road line will look like that and go all the way to that spot and uh, I'll right click to terminate my curve right there so i'll come back to to viewports 
double click on that so i want to give a slight elevation to this road line i'll uh, click on that then slightly drag it up slightly right there then i'll go back there i prefer working on perspective view when uh, modeling here now i want to assign these curves to to these i want to assign these curves to road to road line and uh, other curves to 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 gather box geometry now first of all let me just mark all these things mark all these curves so that you don't get confused as to which curve goes to which geometry now i'll start with the road line here i want to assign my road line this road line to to the first curve now i'll click i'll right click there and uh, define that as uh, a road line uh, road line the road line right there and this one i want these to be the external profile of my gutter box i'll right click and uh, name that as uh, gutter box gutter box profile gutter box profile there we are and i'll go to the first shell i'll click i want to assign this curve to that shell then uh, this curve to that shell so that when i extrude they will extrude along this rodent curve now let me assign that to the first shell here assign this curve to the to the first shell i'll right click and come to and and, and name it there gutter box first uh, gutter box shell one gutter box shell one shell one that's okay then i'll come to gutter box shell two gutter box note the right spelling then now i'll go to gutter box shell two there we are now let me just reference these curves to these geometries of my gutter box i'll start with the road line so i'll click on the road line right click and come to set set curve to that the moment i uh, pick on the curve to be assigned to a particular curve you'll see uh, rhino disappearing so the moment i click on the curve that i want to reference to the to this uh, road line curve it will reappear now if i deselect that and come and select it you'll be able to see the road lines being referenced that's okay now we'll go to the next geometry of our gutter box now i'll pick on this the first one right click and come here and pick set one curve i'll set the external profile of our gutter box that one so when i come back again and click on it you'll be able you, you, you'll be able to see it's being referenced in grasshopper here from grass uh in rhino from grasshopper here now i'll come to gutter box uh, gutter gutter shield one i'll click on that and I'll, ass I'll assign this curve to the first shell right there and i'll assign this to the second shell here and that's all now we have the road line and if you take a look our our, our gutter box profile is not in line or it's not has not aligned itself properly so that when you do extrusion it will come properly following the road line so we want to as, uh, uh, align this to our road line and to do that we'll come to geometry we'll pick on geometry here note that we'll pick we we'll come to geometry remember these end plugs are the input where we input the information then this is the output of the information from every command now from from this geometry we need several of these these geometries curves now i'll press control 
C, then copy all this. I need just three of that. And just take it up, zoom in to get enough space. I'll drag this, drag that, and also I can align them. I'll align them straight. And also I need another geometry here. Now I want to align I want to align my my road line to the to the curve geometry here. I'll pick on the road line and link it to my car to the curve geometry. Let me just bring it close so that you see whatever's going on. I'll come back to road line. All these curves will be referenced to our road line so that when when we do the extrusion it will follow the profile of our road line here i'll link this i'll link this is this our road line now we'll get rid of one geometry we'll get rid of one geometry bring that up bring that up drag that up Perfect. I'll link that to that curve geometry and also link that to that curve geometry. So we have the external profile of our, of our gutter box is that and the internal shell, the first shell is that and the second shell is that. Now, I want to link these geometries of all these uh, curves to To this uh, to the road line curve now what I'll do I'll connect I'll connect this output to that input so the moment I do that you'll be able to see uh, the external gutter box has aligned itself with with the road line curve you can see that you can see that let me just turn that round so that we go a, a little bit faster the rest will be done later on now let me link this to that and link that to that so we have our, our external profile and our internal shells of our gutter box let me just drag that uh, out now what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, define my sweep i'll come here and uh, bring sweep here I'll pick on sweep and copy several of this just need three of that bring that down bring that that side and I'll, uh, align that i'll bring my road line as, as the reference here I'll pick on it and drag it to the rail curve and also drag drag that to the rail curve for for the sweep I'll do the same here. I'll click on it and bring it to the rail curve there. Now I'll take my output of my geometry and link and 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 and, and link it to the section. And the moment I do that, you'll be able to see the profile, the external profile of my gutter box has been extruded uh, has been extruded along this uh, road line here. You can see that. Now I'll connect this also to that and connect this to that. Perfect. Now if I bring it close, you'll be able to, you'll be able to see that uh, our, our our model is not solid like. It's more is more of just uh, a shell. Now I want to make it a solid, so I'll come I'll either come to surface here and pick on. Uh, on cup holes I'll, p I'll place my cup holes there and feed that information right here and i need several of that i'll bring another one here and bring another one right there so i'll pull that and join with that and select on that and I'll pull that and join with that so when i click on this you'll be able to see uh the shells being highlighted and another shell is being highlighted there and the external profile of our gutter box is that now how do we take this to tackle structures? That is now the big issue here. 
Now, what do we do? Let me just zoom it close so that when we link it to Tecla structure, you'll, you'll be able to see how it behaves. And bring that close and zoom it out. Now, what do we do? We'll come to Tecla structures here. We'll come to Tecla structures here and pick on items. Pick on the items right there. Then uh, the moment we link up with this geometry, you will be able to see the profile is already in Tecla structures. And also, we'll come back and uh, pick one here and link it with that. You'll be able to see the first shell is in place and bring another Tecla, another geometry of Tecla link and link with that. You can see that shell is in place. Now, let me just select everything here and drag, drag that down there. Pull that aside so that we get space. Now, we want to remove this, uh, this, these cutoffs. Now, how do we do that? We'll come to uh, cut part under Tecla and pick on that. Now, if, if I mouse over this section, you'll be able to see part to be cut or fitted. So, we want our external profile to be cut from we want to cut this from the outer profile of our gutter box now what do we do we'll pick the entire profile of our gutter box and uh, connect as part that we intend to cut and uh, bring this part the part that we want to cut from the main part to the, to the cutting part you'll be able to see that the signs of cutoffs in place now i'll pick that bring that item under tecla and i'll be able to connect this at the main part right there then link up with this at the part to be cut off there we are and we have everything here now let me just click view and come to navigate and click that and turn around this is our guider in place so now this color red is not really a good thing it does look nice now i want to change this color just double click on it and change that to maybe one right there and click ok that's perfect now these shells we can just select on on them and get rid of them just select on that and get rid of that so if I right click, click and right click and redraw this, you'll be able to see that we have our shell in place already done. This is how it looks in Tecla structures. Now, if I go the other end, if I go this end and turn this round, you can be able to see that those shells are going all, all the way through to this end. So this is how it's done. In uh, in uh, you can do that in Grasshopper and link your Tecla uh, link Tecla structures with, with the Grasshopper, and uh, you can be able to uh, come up with very complex uh, uh, structures that uh, that cannot be done uh, comfortably in Tecla structures. So the moment this model is here, I can just go ahead and save it here. So the moment I've saved it here, and right click can interrupt that. I'll go save that once again, and also I can be I'll, I can save this file in in uh, in Grasshopper. I can save this. I can save this document and uh, give it uh, gutter box. Gutter box. Gutter box. One. So I'll uh, I'll save it on my desktop here and uh i'll save it so the moment i open uh, tecla structures and pull it it will appear also we can bake 
we can bake that baking we can uh, export these to to rhino and it will stay there now for the uh, for now that's enough and uh, for the uh, pies uh, f for the peers will be will be done later on i'll show you how to do how to do the peers on the next presentation and this is how it looks and this is how it's done take a look on our you can see the walkways or the pedestrian or the this is the walkway and uh, we have another one on this end thanks a lot for watching this uh, tutorial and let's meet then on the next presentation don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel i'm Morris Dimba, and let's meet on the next presentation bye bye